In the mid-1960s, a nightmare that haunted the Indian subcontinent during the 1943 Bengal famine and others before it came back. Two successive droughts between 1964 and 66 brought down food production by 20%, creating an acute food shortage across the country. Prices skyrocketed and thousands went hungry. Cities like Calcutta were flooded with hungry and malnourished people who poured in from the villages. The dire situation called for a drastic solution. And so, the Indian Green Revolution was born. Two Indians played a critical role in the advent and success of the Green Revolution. One was Chidambaram Subramaniam, Minister for Food and Agriculture in the Lal Bahadur Shastri government. And the other was agriculture scientist Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, who became the face of the Green Revolution. At the centre of the Green Revolution was a rapid increase in the production of wheat across the states of Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh in what is today called the Wheat Belt of India. This was achieved through the use of special high-yielding variety or HYV seeds. When Shastri became Prime Minister in June 1964, India was sitting on a ticking time bomb. A study by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization back in 1961 had warned that by 1966, India's population growth would outstrip its rice and wheat production, resulting in famines. India had been importing wheat under the US Public Law 480 to meet the food shortage. The grain was channeled directly into the food distribution system, giving rise to the phrase, ship to mouth. Beginning with 3.1 million tons in 1956, the PL 480 imports shot up to 10 million tons in 1966. But US President Lyndon Johnson was threatening to cut wheat supplies under PL 480. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan convinced Subramaniam that the solution to the food crisis lay in cultivating high-yield grains which would increase their output. During the 1950s and early 1960s, the government strategy was focused on expanding the area under cultivation. But the yield was abysmally low. Swaminathan had studied his issue deeply. He had been so deeply impacted by the terrible Bengal famine of 1943 that he had dropped out of medical school in Kerala to study agricultural science so that he could contribute to food security. For over a decade, Swaminathan had focused on developing genetically engineered seeds. While working at the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, Swaminathan collaborated with American agronomist Norman Borlaug. Borlaug, who won the Nobel Prize in 1970, had developed Mexican variety of hybrid seeds of wheat that dramatically increased output. Swaminathan realized that the Mexican variety of seeds suited Indian conditions. While Subramanian was convinced by Swaminathan's formula, he faced political opposition. So he converted the lawn of his five-acre plot where he lived in New Delhi into a demonstration farm to show that the H